is selected. So just you can control click and click on layer one and move it or just click on layer one and move it. And by the way, that reminds me, you should never just keep things called layer one. I'm gonna call this uh, shadow because it's gonna it's my shadow now. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, put in some text. Um, go ahead and hit the letter T as in Tom. I'm gonna put text and I'll put Mr. Heil as my text. And I'm gonna click on the move tool to move it. And it's a little big, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And I'm gonna put it over here. And with my text, you can just highlight your text and up here you can change the color. So I'm gonna change the color to, let's try light gray, okay? And you can also have different effects to your shadow. You click here, you can hit a stroke, which is a line outside, outlining it. Um, a lot of people use drop shadows. Let me show you what drop shadow does. You hit drop shadow, and notice that there's a shadow now on it. Now we can um, increase the distance of the shadow and move it around. You could increase the spread. There's a lot of different options. You can change the angle of it. You can change the color of it. So a lot of different things we can do with the shadow. A lot of people also like to do the inner glow because notice now it's a little white inner glow. It's easy to see. And that's a stroke if you want a stroke. I'm going to choose a black. Or let's try a blue. Okay, so now I have my text the way you want. You can choose the way you want for your text and you can put it here or here you could also maybe rotate it a little bit if you want to do that here you hit command T and transform and there we go now we're going to insert some of our pictures into our shadow so I don't need that anymore I'm going to minimize that in case I need that for later and what I'm going to do is get some photos. Um, now you should have taken all your photos that you're going to be using for this shadow. Uh, Tahoe said I could use some of his. So um, I think these are some cool green shoes. I have some very similar to this, but they have green laces. So what I'm going to do is save the image to my desktop. Go to my desktop where the image I saved it, drop it into Photoshop, and there it is. Now there's different ways that you can uh, take the picture out. One way we learned was you highlight this part and then you can subtract with the magic wand by holding on the Alt key and clicking on a space that you don't want. I notice it's too detailed so my tolerance level is too high so I'm going to bring down my tolerance level and try that again. So that's almost right. I'm gonna a little bit more, maybe 55. And notice it's still, like I don't want this space, so I'm gonna subtract that. Hold on the Alt key again to subtract. Ooh, I don't want that. Okay, so that's good enough. Let's go ahead and drop that in to our shadow. I'm gonna go ahead, grab my shadow. Hold on the V or click V on the keyboard and we're going to drag in our shoes. Hit command T to transform and hold on the shift key to resize if you remember. Now when you place your images in your uh, shadow, uh, you, if you can flip them like this. You could flip them upside down. There's a lot of freedom that you can use in this. I'm going to place them the same direction as my face because it um, kind of goes along a little bit better. And I'm going to place these maybe here because if you notice, uh, it's not a clean cut on this edge here. That's why you want to make sure that your photos are all like full. You, you get the full image. So I'm going to cut the corners of the shoes off a little bit right about here because remember you don't want any uh, space here to be showing. So 
I'm going to cut them off maybe right about there. And hit enter. Now I placed it. Okay. After we add in the shoes, we want to basically cut out this part of the shoes right here. So, in order to do that, what we first we need to do is select our shadow. Remember the shortcut to select our shadow? Select, load selection, and shadow. Okay, now my shadow is selected. Now, I want to delete this part of the shoes. So I'm going to select the shoes part. Now if I hit delete, my shoes are going to be gone, which is not what we want to delete. Instead, we want to delete the inverse of what's selected. So, uh, in Photoshop, Command-I is to inverse the color, like that, which we're not going to do. And notice that only this is selected, so this part of my shoe didn't change. So hit Command-Z. We want to uh, delete the inverse color, so Command-Shift-I. Command-Shift-I will highlight everything outside of my face, and then I hit Delete, and now it's gone. Command-D will deselect, and then now I'm ready to go with my shoes. So my shoes are in there. Now, let's get something else. Another picture. I'm going to use the picture of Okay, I'm going to use this band picture. Okay, so I'm going to save this band picture, and then you're going to open the band picture in Photoshop. Okay, now I'm going to select around. Now, if I just select this image, um, what you want to do is feather, because basically, feathering is see the um, soft edges to a photograph? That's feathering. Uh, if I don't have feathering, basically your feathering control is up here, 22. If I have this at 0, and I try to draw a square around my band, V to move, notice it's a clear cut, it's not going to be really pretty. So I'm going to switch that, and let's do a feather of 22, and you can change that. And then I'm going to hit V to move, and now I'm going to move it. Now, the feather is, the more uh, of a feather you're going to have, and the lower and the least. So I'm going to take this, drag it into my shadow, Command T to transform, hold on the Shift key to make it bigger, and I'm going to place this somewhere. Uh, let's place this. Where should we place this? I'm going to place it right there. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. Now, uh, this is not very, doesn't look very good. First of all, I want to take this layer two. I'm going to call it super because the band's name is super something. And this is called shoes. I'm going to place it, <clears throat> place my shadow or place it below shoes. Now it's on their faces, so I'm going to go ahead and move it a little bit. Let's get just some of the band members. <clears throat> Something like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the shadow. Select the shadow. Go to select, load selection, OK. Now my shadow is selected. I'm going to select super, hit command shift I to invert the selection and hit delete key. And now that's Command D to deselect. Okay. So notice the feather looks a little bit better. What I'll be doing is I would probably uh, have another image and I'll put it. I mean, not the shoes, but another image like here to go around it or something. But that's up to you. Okay. So you can do feathering. You can do uh, uh, lassoing. And you could also do quick mask. So that's a basic overview of how to get started with your shadow.